guys and welcome back to my channel it's kimara i know long time no see well actually i don't think this will be my first video back this is my first video i'm recording but probably won't be the first one i post today i am here with a, a review of the canon eos rebel t7 this is the guide this is the camera clearly i'm not recording on the camera because it's right here but i will insert some footage from the camera just so y'all can see how it records i haven't recorded very much on it i didn't buy this camera for recording i bought it for taking pictures for my instagram but anyways i've had this camera since i got it like i think i think it was late september when i got it it was either late september or early october but i got it because i had a lot of halloween photo shoots planned and i wanted a new camera my camera was broken i think we talked about that on this channel my other camera was like a hand-me-down so the old camera was like a nikon um cool pics it was like a old one like a really old one and i loved that camera it was great it didn't connect to my cell phone so i'm sure y'all saw in my photo shoot vlogs i would be like pressing the button sitting down for the self timer over and over and over and over and over again but i still love that camera i'm trying to think how i used to get the pictures oh there was an app for me to get the pictures i just don't think i could take pictures on the app but i would get the pictures by like connecting it to connecting the camera to my phone and then downloading them then i would edit on my phone i love the camera but it was definitely older didn't have a lot of functions and yeah so now i went from nikon to canon so this is the canon camera and here are my thoughts on this camera after october so october november november december after like two three months of using it i'm taking lots and lots of pictures on it um and i love this camera y'all like this is make it has made doing my um kimara behind the scenes stuff like taking all my pictures even stuff for my makeup page it has made it so much easier they have a canon app it's called like canon camera connect or something and i literally don't have to keep getting up to take the picture of myself i can press the button on my phone like it's like a clicker i press the button on my phone and I can take, I can put a self timer on for 10 seconds and take 10 pictures back to back to back. Y'all understand, just go back to, I, I might even insert a clip, but just go back to like the photo shoot vlogs and stuff from this summer. One picture at a time, I would have to sit down, take the picture, get back up, sit down, take the picture, get back up, sit down, take the picture, get back up, over and over and over again. Now I can just snap the picture on my phone, get it to take on my camera it takes 10 pictures so i can change my pose boom 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 look at the pictures on my phone and then take more pictures like it is great quality and all that is great i did so the battery charging right now i'll show y'all like i'll insert some pictures um that i've taken on this camera i need like more lighting and stuff so i feel like i'm i see like a lot of potential a long life with me in this camera like i eventually want to get more lenses for it, all that stuff the only downfalls of this camera sometimes is every time i try to put on the flash like manually like the flash works it'll come on like if it's like if it's a low light setting like and if i was to take pictures right now in this room because the lights are off but i have a, a ring light on but it would the flash will come on but i can't manually turn it on because it, it always says this button is unavailable in basic zones mode and i don't everywhere i look i'm like what is this basic zones mode how can i turn it off what like how, how can i just manually turn on the flash and i still have yet to figure that out two months in i just hope for the best when i take the picture i hope the flash is going to pop up but that's the only thing um like that i really have an issue with on this camera is i can't just turn the flash on myself like in general i will say nikon at least the cool pics camera that i had it was very old but it is way more like intuitive like it's way more i can you don't really need instructions to work it this camera is very like high tech and more complex to use there's so many settings there's so many things you can set like the little dial at the top there's so much stuff which i think i think nikons have this too i still have the camera i can see but well, another thing i'm not a fan of but my the nikon camera didn't have this either well it did but it didn't i would like a viewfinder that flips out so that i can just see myself in the viewfinder which i really don't need that because i have the phone app so i could just see myself on the phone but i still i don't remember the exact price it's been a long time since i got this camera 
um it was a lot of money to me it was between 400 and 500 that it was closer to the 500 side like i think it was definitely more than 450 dollars i maybe like around 474 dollars for this camera but it was worth it to me i don't regret buying this at all and i definitely think it was like one of the cheapest cameras i could find like i definitely was looking around for low cost cameras and it was one of the cheapest i could find and i would definitely recommend you get it especially if you're just like taking pictures of yourself that's all I have to say as far as the, the review. This review isn't really for people that do like professional photography work. Maybe you can gain something from it. I don't do per, like professional photography work though. So I'm reviewing this from like the point of view of somebody who is just using this for fun, family pics, like something like not, not anything too serious. If you're like a professional photographer, you may need to look into this more. I'm about to go put the battery in this because I have it charging because I, I have another video I want to record actually on the camera. So I'm gonna go put the battery in it just so y'all can see like what it looks like when it's on, how it looks when it's recording, all of that stuff. So be right back. I think I'm gonna focus. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Kimara, you know, same old, same old. So yeah, um, we can address my finger. I was taking pictures, trying to deal with the tripod, and I cut my finger with a flathead screwdriver. It's a long story, so I don't have any band-aids, so that's what this is. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. I have this basket here, but it's gonna be like my coffee bar. As you can see, we don't have a whole lot of counter space here. So, um, it's like a coffee bar basket. Um, yeah. So, the supplies I have. Oh, yeah, guys. That is all for my review. Actually, I will show y'all some of the pictures I recently took. Y'all getting to see like the rough drafts. These are the things nobody gets to see, all the ugly pictures, but these are recently took just a ring light and a ba white background in the camera. That's literally it. That's all for my review of this camera. If you're just taking Instagram pictures or fun pictures or you're a, a beginner YouTuber or a YouTuber in general, I think this is a good investment. I would definitely purchase again. I would definitely recommend purchasing. If you're like a photographer or videographer or whatever, definitely do more research because I don't know what what the needs are there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to subscribe because we're back guys like we're back i know i've said that like five times but i really mean it this time so subscribe and stay subscribed and i will see you guys in the next video bye